Hi y'all, it's Deidre Garriott. I'm in Lexington, Virginia, and I have dry, aging skin with some hormonal discoloration. And I want to talk with you today um, about donkey cream from the Winter Box. Um, before I begin, let me remind you that I am not a beauty influencer. I'm not paid to do these reviews. Um, I've been given the Winter Box and asked to just, you know, experience it, play with it, and give you guys my honest feedback. Um, and that is what I'm doing. Um, so in the past, I've reviewed um, Rosic Healing Oil and um, a few other products, uh, the, the Bamboo Cleansing Balm. And today, I'd like to talk about um, donkey cream. Oh, there you go. Um, so as you can see, this is a big tub of donkey cream and a big jar. And this is because um, the travel size jar and my sabbatical beauty ran out. Um, so the travel size um, are about this big as opposed to like this big. So, and I'll give you guys a, you see that? Okay, there we go. All right, um, and for me, I was using it twice a day. I was using it AM and PM. So I was using it a lot. And especially when I first got the box, my skin, my skin was pretty dry. Um, winter had just started and all my, my skin just responds immediately to, um, the conditions of winter. So my skin doesn't like the cold at all. When I go out, it immediately kind of starts reacting. Um, so I have eczema. I'm pretty sure I haven't gotten it diagnosed, but I'm pretty convinced that's what this is and when I go out like on my legs in particular there are just spots that like kind of inflame and get really red and uh, really tender and can get itchy which is awful because they're also really tender and painful um, I don't get that as much on my face but my face does immediately just dry out and it doesn't help when we have the heat on um, and we do we have the heat on um, and and we need it we had snow last week it was really cold so um, when I first got the winter box, I was so excited that there was, um, just, you know, a basic moisturizer, you know, something that is like very foundational and every person should have in their skincare box. And I had heard a lot about donkey cream and hadn't used it. So I was really excited and I was putting on a lot, um, and learned over the first couple of weeks that I really don't need that much. Um, so I really only take now out of this. So I'm just rubbing my fingers in it just to show you. Okay, hold on, sorry. It's a nice thick whipped kind of cream, so sometimes you have to apply. This is about what I apply now to my face. I might grab a little, and I'm just gonna put it on now because why not? Um, so I, it, I always start where I'm the driest, which tends to be right here, or then I'll work around and if I feel like I need a little bit more right now I feel like I need a little bit more that's about as much more as I grab max um, and I work it in down um, so I was using a lot more than that I was scooping out like a whole lot more than that and I don't need that now you might depending on the dryness of your skin you might need that but I have found that um, in combination with the other products in the box, particularly Radiant, Serum, um, and then Snow at night, um, so this is what I put on over Donkey Cream at night, um, it, it's just blockbuster hydration. Um, and I talked about this a little bit in another video, but I really feel like Donkey Cream as like a staple product has um, improved the resilience of my skin. Um, so I'm finding it bouncing back from harsh conditions, whether those conditions are the weather or the fact that it's the end of an academic semester and I'm under a lot of stress, um, you know, and still sending out job applications and stuff. And stress just takes a toll on your skin. So I have found that donkey cream just a little bit goes such a long way and that for me, um, it has just really changed the quality of my skin. My skin is more youthful. It is brighter. It is, um, I keep using the word resilient, but that's it. It's resilient. I mean, it faces challenges every day. Um, you know, whether those are, are self-made 
or whether they're kind of the condition of the environment that I'm living in. Um, and yet you, you really just can't tell. Um, my students can't tell and I can't tell. Um, and really putting it on is such a treat because it has a really soft um, smell. It's made of donkey milk, rice bran oil, shea butter, um, and a bunch of other um, things in there, different um, extracts. And to me, it has kind of a light coconut smell. Um, but whatever the smell is intended to be, it's really light and it's really refreshing and it, it's not heavily perfumed. It's just when I start putting it on, because I always put it on near my nose first, um, it's just this wonderful moment where I feel um, like I've pampered myself. And I'm really grateful to be using this product and to see that it is changing my skin in positive ways. I really, I have a bunch of products in my caboodle that I use to use. Um, and I can't ever imagine going back because they never gave me these results, not even close. Um, I don't think I'm ever going to let Donkey Cream go. This will be my go-to moisturizer until, you know, SB puts out something else that, that I like better. But for now, um, I'm so committed that I went and bought the full jar with money I don't have. So... Uh, I hope you enjoyed this review. Um, thank you guys for listening to me and my um, my talk about resilient skin. And I hope that this helps you, especially if you have skin like mine. So, Y'all have a wonderful day. And um, I look forward to my next review and getting to chat with you. All right. Bye, y'all.